The Apostle Paul, who was first known as Saul, was as religious as you get. He knew all the laws, followed all the laws, and made sure everyone else did the same or else. The book of Acts records him being at the execution of Stephen, one of the early church leaders. Then it says, Some devout men came and buried Stephen with great mourning, but Saul was going everywhere to destroy the church. He went from house to house, dragging out both men and women to throw them into prison. Paul meant business. He was bent on destroying the church. So what happens when later he actually became a believer? And not just any believer. Paul logged thousands of miles, crossing all sorts of physical and cultural boundaries to spread the gospel, and he became the principal writer of the New Testament. So again, how did Paul deal with his past? Well, this is what he said he learned. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and I am the worst of them all. But God had mercy on me so that Christ Jesus could use me as a prime example of his great patience with even the worst of sinners. Then others will realize that they too can believe in him and receive eternal life. Paul remembered his past, but he didn't live there. He used it as a reminder to be joyful for the grace God gave him through Jesus. And we can do the same. Today, let's not live in our past. Let's give it to Jesus. Trust His mercy, count on His patience, and follow Him. So like Paul, others will realize that they too can believe Jesus and receive eternal life.